In this 2D to 3D masterclass, we will look at how we can use 3D printer slicing software to create a 3D model from a 2D drawing that has been produced by using some 2D paint software. In this video, we are going to look at how you can use the free paint utility in Microsoft Windows and an alternative online app called Paints. We will then use the Ultimaker Cura slicing software to extrude a 3D model from the 2D image. So I've got here Microsoft Paint, it's a free utility that is included with Microsoft Windows. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a 2D drawing. We're going to produce that drawing in shades of grey scale, so white, grey and black. Because the way the slicing software works is by looking at the depth of the colour in the image and darker colours it can extrude to a higher depth, lighter colours to a lower depth or it can flip that over. So we're just going to use uh, three colours, black, grey and white. So I'm going to start by selecting a rectangle. I'm going to turn the outline off so it's just drawing the fill which we're going to put to a solid colour. Now the fill colour is colour 2 so I'm going to select colour 2 and we're going to start with a grey base for our drawing so I'm going to select grey 50%. I'm going to start by creating a rectangle. Then I'll click off that shape and turn the rectangle to white. I'm going to draw another rectangle here. Hopefully it will soon become clear what I'm drawing. And then we're going to go back to grey again and we're going to select another rectangle. This is the basic shape for a bookmark. So we're going to make a 3D printed bookmark. We're going to use grey as the base colour. Now, that will print at a certain thickness when we import this image into the slicing software. But what I want to do first is add some design. So let's start with some black. I'm going to add black as the colour and let's perhaps add some text. So I'm going to put some text here. I'm going to put a bit maybe something like I think we'll do I love books as it's a bookmark. I'm going to put a return and I'm going to write books um, here. Let me just move that eye across. I'm going to put a little love heart instead of text. And then we're just going to move that to centralise that at the top of the V. Now you can see I've chosen quite a thick font. So you want something, something like Arial Black or this one here, uh, which is this Berlin font. So you want something that's quite thick. Uh, so that when that's 3D printed, it shows up. Okay, and when I'm happy with the positioning, I'll click off there. And then let's use a little heart for the love heart. Okay, I'm actually going to choose white to draw my love heart. Okay, so I've got a little love heart there. Just... And we'll just move it. Over a little bit. And perhaps we could draw a bigger love heart in the centre here. Just position that nicely. So there's my design. Now what will happen with this is when we pull this into the slicing software is the grey area will print at a certain depth. The white area we want to actually be a hole through the middle. Okay, so we're going to make sure that the white area prints at zero depth and the black area will print the thickest. And we can do those settings in the software. However, before I save my work, what I do need to do is crop it down because if I save this image, it will save the whole of the screen, including all of this white space around the middle. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to select my actual bookmark shape and we are just going to crop that. Okay, so this is the, the full image now that we'll save. And now I can save my work. An alternative to Microsoft Paint is the Paints app. And this is an online utility. It's completely free of charge. Uh, you just go to the Paints app website and you can draw using all the drawing tools, pretty much the same sort of standard drawing tools as Microsoft Paint, um, very simple to learn. It is very basic, so you can't do 
very complex designs, but uh, certainly, you know, simple shapes. You've got your brush tools, your pen tools, fill tools and, and text tools. So uh, that is the Paint app. Now I have produced my 2D drawing, the next stage is to convert that 2D drawing into a 3D model. For this you need to use some 3D slicing software and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Ultimaker Cura slicing software to do this job. So I've got the software open here, you can download this for free from the Ultimaker website and it works with most 3D printers. So I've opened up the software. The next stage is to open up the 2D image. So I'm going to go into the open icon here in the top left hand corner. Here I will then browse to find my 2D image. So this is my bookmark that I designed earlier. I'm just going to select this and click open. At this point, the software recognizes that you are trying to open an image and not a 3D model file and it gives you this convert image pop-up. These are a number of settings that you need to determine before that image can be converted. The height will be the overall height of the 3D print. The base will be the base height of the 3D print. Then you have the width and depth of your model. There is also a setting underneath where you can determine whether the darker areas of the image print higher or the lighter area of the images print higher. For the bookmark design, we're going to select darker is higher. This means that the black areas of the image will print at whatever distance is specified in the height and the white areas of the print will print at whatever is specified for the base. We want the white areas to print, to not print at all. So we want to set a base to zero millimeters. The black areas, we need to be double the areas of the gray. Now for the bookmark to be flexible, we want that 50% gray thickness to be about one millimeter. So if we set the height of the black areas to two millimeters, that means that the 50% gray areas of the image will print at one millimeter. The final setting is the actual size that the bookmark will print, so a width and a depth. Now these are in proportion to your original drawing. So if I want my bookmark to be a depth of 80 millimeters, all I would do is edit that depth to 80 and it will adjust the width of the print accordingly. We mean to make sure that the smoothing is off so that you have a maximum contrast for the lettering of the bookmark. You don't want any gradual smoothing between the different heights in this type of design. And then I'm going to just press OK. At this point, the bookmark imports into the slicing software. Now, as you can see here, you have the white areas of the image don't print at all. And then the black areas of the image, you can see they've got the raised area here for the text. And that is the image imported into the slicing software. Then all you need to do is set your slicing settings and slice your 3D model to prepare it for 3D printing. Thank <laughs> you.